beauty. A lot of mess. Good morning. Another calf. Not long born that. <laughs> Another bull. Spritz navel. And then I've had a phone call about um, someone suspicious in a field way. So I'm going to go and have a look at that. The car in question. Right there. Someone passing this morning stopped and spoke because it's a normal spot for drop and fly tipping. Someone spoke to him and he said he was trying to do a U turn and this sounded a bit dodgy. So. He seems quite genuine. I think he's reversed in. He's been there since 10 o'clock last night um, and he's stuck. He, did, he was trying to do a U turn and turn around. I'll try and see if I can give him a haul out. I'm going to give him a pull. Seems like a nice, genuine guy to be fair. He's been there since 10 o'clock waiting on the AA. Well, stuck in there. He kept reversing and sliding, reversing and sliding. And that's where he got stuck. His front wheels just dug a hole and that was that. That was a bit better than what I thought it was going to be. So I bet we get loads of fly tippers. I don't know why he was reversing so far up there. If he was doing a U-turn, he would... Anyway, he did something nice. Hopefully he won't come back to harm you if he was doing any wrongdoing. Just been in to Harbro and Perth for more milk powder. I got a good welcoming in there. Pictures for grandsons and all sorts. Right, home, feed that calf, bed some cattle and go and do a bit of plowing. That's the plan. Drink up, buddy. No. Come on, on you get. I have realised someone pointed out these troughs. Do they not work the other way around, which? Yes, they do. There's a plug in there. Take that out, swap it to the top there. Shift that trough to there, then boom, straight up pipe. A lot neater, a lot tidier, a lot less chance of the cows getting at it. Obviously this was just temporary. I was needing to properly do this, but it was makeshift while the cows in here. So. Shift that right here. Just put a wee bit of protection over there. I'll make a wee guard with a bit of steel. Thunderbolt it over the top of the pipe to the concrete there. And then it's just protected from the cows and two when we're mucking out. Um, don't want to catch up with the bucket and just chop it straight in half. Ideal. Get that going. That calf that was born this morning, it's got a right belly full of milk. Perfect. That's his mother there. 778 bull calf. Aberdeen Angus Cross. 23rd of February. Grubs up. Next time it's bad weather and we can't get proper work done outside, I'll weigh these calves again. First time I did it, or, or the second time I weighed them and got a set of weights of change over a couple of weeks, they averaged 1.7 kilos of daily weight gain over those two weeks, which was really good. Quite a few people were very interested because we're just feeding bruised barley, rapeseed pellets and minerals and ad lib straw. They're basically on ad lib, a kind of slightly hold them off. I feed them every morning and it's cleared every morning but I don't want to start putting two buckets down because I think they actually eat better and more when they're just about at ad lib. Keep them just on that on that cusp because then they always come in every morning and they always get a good mouthful and then they chow through the day and then it's all gone as well. So I think you get a better result doing it that way. There's a right range of beasts in here. Charlie's are from Percy the Bull who's gone now because we thought he had fertility issues and then there's a range of sizes and twins and earlies and lates and it was quite a wide calving so there's a bit of everything in here a few horns obviously no horns on the Anguses the Limmies stick out they are a good bit older than all the rest so that's why they stick out Limmies in general are a bit more shapey aren't they? You want a cows? The shed of depreciation not the bales, they're appreciating. Shame they're not for sale. Where am I going? Wrong way. Two more bales, then we'll jump in that machine. This is my giraffe of a calf. Big belter. Getting you tagged. Whoa. Can hardly straddle it. That's it. One. There you go. That's the BVD tissue tag, so that'll get sent away to be tested for BVD. It clears the calf and it clears the mother, so that your class is a BVT negative herd. Oh, let's castrate you, you big beast. It's a belter of a calf. Just want to see if I can, if I can feel the horns coming through, I can paste them now, but quite often it's a week before you can really feel them. So this calf still needs done with paste for the horns. Otherwise, good to go. 
Pretty ho. Windows have had a wash, I can see out the windows now, which is quite nice. And away we go! Cab could do with a clean, but hey ho, it's not happening today. Kev has arrived sooner than I thought he was going to be. We're going to see if these ploughs will match up in tandem. The plough Kev's on, he's obviously running on land, so it's a bit different to this plough where I'm in the furrow. So whether that causes them to kind of mismatch, I don't know, we'll find out. There's a bit of tree needing tidied up. It's a big chunk of tree, but there's still a lot left of it. That'll make a good few boxes of logs, that. Wow, some branch. What we basically do is we just make an implement. That's a 10 fur plough, because we've got two fives. So the GPS should work out there. I'll maybe need to fiddle about with the width just to get it bang on, but we'll try that for now. We've actually just figured we don't need to set a 10 fur width because we're now running two fives. It used to be a five and a four. So you'd have to set out nine for a width because you weren't running at the same width. Whereas my plough and cow's plough right now are the exact same width. So instead of picking up the first GPS line, you're just missing a line every time rather than running a big wide plough. Anyway, we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's far too deep. What's going on here? Plough's definitely shining up a wee bit. It's not great at the moment. I think I'm into widen things up a bit because I'm just trying to climb up the fur there. Keep fiddling away. Hopefully it'll get better. I think we want to widen up a touch what we are. 4.28, let's go 4.33, that's 5 centimetres, 4.33, I think we need to go more than that, but we'll try that. Slightly better, I'm running a bit better in the fur, it's not fighting itself. I probably don't need to tell you, but I am no expert plowing my sheep, man. I feel like I say that about everything I do. I'm not an expert in anything. Jack of all trades, master of mouth throttle. See, it's matching up nice there, coming down the hill. As soon as I'm going up the hill, it doesn't match at all. I'm on slats, Kev's on boards. In theory, slats break up the ground a bit more. We're not too fussed between the two options. Having one of each gives us a wee bit of flexibility, not that we really utilise that flexibility. That's better. I think I was maybe running just a touch too deep. See what happens once we go over that wee, there's a wee brow there. People who like to see some stats, they go. That'll not be right because I'm running double that, so half that number. 1.5 hectares an hour. There you go. 14, 15 litres an hour of fuel. Don't bother looking at litres per hectare because it thinks we're on double the width we are, so half that. No, double that. 12 litres a hectare. We're just having a wee chat there. What we're gonna, Kev's gonna widen his GPS a touch, a, a wee slight touch, because he's kind of, he's a bit narrow. He's running over, he's bridging up a bit on me. Um, you can see it there, that's, his first fur kind of overlaps onto mine. Um, so if he widens up a touch, shifts him this way, well, we'll try it anyway. Kind of tricky to know, because we're on a slope that way, it changes in undulation that way. There's two different soil types along this line. So uh, in some places it matches nice, in some places it doesn't. Probably never get it bang on. The beauty of technology, I can plow away and keep an eye on my cows at the same time. Although I've not got amazing signal out here, so it's a wee bit laggy and unresponsive. But. What it is, what it does, what it is. 
is what it is. It. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hippie. Get up, fresh shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, we all can't copy up. Making a bit of progress now. We made a start just, just after lunchtime, so we've been going a couple of hours. Makes a difference when you've got 10 first going round and five. Tandem plowing. With GPS. Of course. Sunshine! Beauty! Especially after the rain we've had. It's been unbelievable. So wet a winter. Horrible. If the sunshine is here to stay, oh, the mood of the farmers will, oh, flick of a switch, it'll brighten up. It's great. Hopefully it's here to stay. Kez found a cheesy wet bit. Skating all over the place. <laughs> Just sit and watch, admire. Weird wet bit. Must just be the firm tram line, kind of making it all greasy. He's also working on. <laughs> Kev's also working on land, so as soon as he hits a greasy spot, it just slips him into the fire. I've probably got a bit more grip. Soft in there, right soft in there. Where's he gonna go from here? Straight? Is he gonna go straight? Oh, oh, oh. Nah, he's straight now, he's straight now. Right, our attempt now. Predictions. Oh, there's another soft bit up there ahead. And anyway, we'll see how we get on. It's soaking up here, what a mess we're in. Right, greasy, horrible bit here. Kev's digging himself some holes. Why is it so soft? Put it down, moss through it. Don't ask any questions. Righty ho, Kev's just going to stop for a cup of tea, I'm going to nip up, check the cows and then we'll just keep cracking on. Corrupt data, I don't care. Here we go back, this is the moment, tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over, so we put our hands up like the ceiling can. Nothing looking like it in this pen anyway. Or that pen. One more pen to check. Hey buddy. It's the last set of twins. Are you looking for your grub? It's not grub time yet, buddy. All good. It's good when you're working right next to where the cattle are as well. Tomorrow we'll be working here. We've sped some sulfur nitrogen on on some rape, which is round about here. There's a hundred and just shy of two hundred acres of rape up here. 180 maybe. I'm back. Kev's obviously found a few wet bits, or the wet bits continue. He's out hunting for the source, I think. We've decided to give up. We're just starting to make a lot of mess. Unfortunately, it is just ugh, horrible. And that is basically the last of any good bits or reasonable bits. Kev's already half plowed all the other bits that are possible and got to the wet bits, now we're up to the last wet bit. Now we've got loads of half fields to finish. Um, maybe we just need a bit of patience now. Just gone pretty horrible in there and that wet bit just keeps stretching that way. Pull the plug, frustratingly. So well, we've got a bit done anyway. Better than nothing. Ah, it's Friday today. We're gonna get a good day Saturday, Sunday, Monday, definitely. And then it's gonna rain Tuesday, so it's dead still tomorrow, so it won't dry very well, but we'll get fur on. Thank you. 
then some diesel calibration boxes for the first spreader nice and organized and we are three bags short of sulfur nitrogen along at yard two so i'm going to put the flatbed on grab them and then we're good to go first thing in the morning spread some fat and just hopefully get three full days at it kev's got a fat spreader yoked up he's just getting a front weight i'm gonna grab the forklift load up three bags of fat along the road job done check the cows open sesame uh, oh this is the seed in the way of what i'm needing sulfur nitrogen no that's mpks what's that what's this what's this this is what i need sulfur nitrogen yes sulfur nitrogen and two, two bags oh it's so nice having a good day although it's, the ground was still too wet kev's gone i'm just getting strapped down here see you tomorrow Bye.